Hey everybody, Lone Axiom here. Uh, I got a bit of a surprise for you guys here, and it's a surprise for me as well. So, about a week ago, my aunt uh, overheard that, you know, I have a YouTube channel and that I like to collect coins and silver and old paper money. And she asked uh, if I wanted to see my Uncle Gordy's collection. Now, unfortunately, my, my uncle passed away a few years ago. He had cancer, and it was it was a sad time, but apparently he had a collection all of his own that I didn't even know about. So when she asked if I wanted to take a look at it, you know, I was I was excited, I was honored. So there you have it. Everything in this box is uh, what he uh, what he collected over uh, the course of, I imagine, years. So I've already taken a, a quick look in here to see what he had, and it's quite a bit. So. Uh, the title of this video is is uh, part one. What I'm going to do is do one on just the coins because in this envelope it's a whole bunch of old paper bills. So I'll make a separate video just on that. So to take everything out, lay it all on the on the table here, and I'll uh, let you guys know uh, what he had in his collection. So all right, back in a sec. All right, I'm back. I've taken everything out of the box except for the the bills, which I'll put out in a different video, like I said. But I got all the coins put out that he had in that box and it turned out to be quite a quite a bit as you can see so I divided into some commemorative coins some Canadian coins American coins and that's all silver coins there so go left to right so the commemorative coins got a centennial British Columbia silver dollar I think she had two of them dollar Calgary Stampede 1975 I don't believe that's silver just a commemorative coin and he had two here from Winnipeg their centennial so just a few commemorative coins those first two are silver and then on to pennies. Some older large cents. 1915, 18, 1919, and a 1920 one cent Newfoundland penny, which was pretty neat. Some uh, older cents, 1924, 1934, 1936, 37. Kind of just makes its way down. To the 50s. All the way to 1952. Nichols, he had a couple of old King George the fifth Nichols, 1922 and 1934. And then into the 40s. Got quite quite a few victory nickels. These ones are Tom back, 1943, 1944, to 1945, 12 sided nickels from later 40s, 1950, a couple from 1951. And on to some half dollars of the non silver variety. 68, 69, 71, 74, some larger Canadian dollars, 71s, 72, 76, 79, some 1980s, this goes all the way up to 1986. The year I was born, incidentally. So some half dollars and dollars. Canadian. On to American. Some Kennedy halves. 71, 71. And some bicentennials. Yeah. 
98. Some Eisenhower dollars. A couple of bicentennials. 1976 and 1978. Some old pennies and nice oldie here, a 1910 wheat cent. Uh, a dimpled up 1942S, a 1943S, and a 1945. And one Indian head, 1928, pretty faded. So those were all the non-silver non coins but uh, still pretty impressive. And just to, to let you know, at one point in my uncle's life, he worked in a gift shop in a hotel. And I imagine most of these coins came from change from uh, you know travelers over the years that he just pulled out. Now, the lighting's not that great. These are all silver dimes, and they're all the 1967 Centennial with the mackerel fish on it, a whole roll, so 50 of them. All in pretty good condition. 50 plus the one, uh, the one dirty one. So 51 Centennial 1967 Silver Dimes and three, oops, older silver ones here, 1949, 1950, and 1961. So. So 54 silver dimes, uh, some older Canadian silver dimes, this one here, 1909, it's hard to see but in person it's 1909, so pretty old, I can't even read that, 1916 I believe, 1930, 1930, and 1933, so these are all King George the sixth, no, King George the fifth, uh, Canadian dimes, and I believe they're all 90% silver. Some silver quarters, 1957, and then a few from uh, 1967, the centennial with the bobcat. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So seven silver quarters. Some half dollars, a nice old one here, 1919, 90% half dollar. And 1950, 1959, 1961, 1966, due from 19, 1966, and a 1967 centennial with the wolf. So silver half dollar, or yeah, silver half dollars. Now on for some silver dollars, which he had quite a few of them. The oldest was 1953, a couple from 1958, 63, a few from 1964, 65, 66, 66. 66, 66, 66, and then a bunch from 1967, the Centennial, with the Canadian Goose on it. One, two, three, and four. So a bunch of Canadian silver dollars, which is pretty neat to, to see. And then some Kennedy halves, silver. Two from 1964, so 90%, I believe. And then 1965, 65, and 67. So I think those are 40% silver, I believe. And then he had a 1903 uh, war nickel, American war nickel, with the V on it. And a 1908 barber dime. So also pretty neat. And then a, a Churchill round. I think that's silver. I didn't put a magnet on it, but it, it, I think it is, just based on the year. And a 1955 shilling, one shilling, from not too sure. Probably Britain, I imagine. So a bunch of silver coins, and I 
kind of roughly added it all up for how many ounces. It's between 18 and 19 ounces of silver there, so not too bad. So there you have it. My late uncle's coin collection that he put together throughout his lifetime. And as I imagine, when he worked in the gift shop, he probably got a lot of this in change and just took it out. So not too shabby, I think. All right, tell me what you think. And uh, I'd like to hear what you, uh, yeah, we have to think about his collection. And like I said, next video up, I'm going to do one on all those old bills. Got quite a stack in there. So, all right, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's doing well. And yeah, be on the lookout for that next video. All right, take it easy, everybody.